Hello. So I am excited for another tea this morning. Christmas chocolate mint. There it is. Always takes a while, but there it is. So this is going to need a five minute steep. So I'm going to get that going now. I have tea. Like I, so I have a standing desk here. This is where I work. Uh, and I just have tea all over it. <laughs> I have to get in here with a wet paper towel and clean up tea bits. Okay. So there's definitely enough for two small cups in here. Let me show it to you and then I will smell it. So you can see a lot of the mint in there. Get that steeping. Christmas chocolate mint. Huh. This is, oh, I could have had this last night. This is Trace Caffeine. I just assumed it was a uh, full caffeine black tea, but it's not. It's honey bush, which I'm meh. Oolong, which I love, so probably will overpower the honey bush for me. Cocoa nibs, natural chocolate flavor, peppermint, natural vanilla flavor, candy cane, and it's got trace caffeine. We'll let that go for five minutes. So it was Black Friday last weekend, and David's Tea, which I'm relatively new to, had 70% off a whole bunch of teas. I was good. I did not buy any teaware because I do not need teaware, but I did take advantage of the 70% off, especially because they had matchas. They had like, I got a big like 100 gram uh, car salted caramel matcha. Uh, that's the only one I got a big amount of because I don't know if I'm going to like them. So I got kind of the smallest amount. Um, I think I did get a couple of Merry Mistletoes because I know I love that. So I I did. I I went a little over my budget <laughs> uh, because I needed to I wanted to get free shipping, which is $65, which is a lot. But I got over $200 worth of product for that because of the uh 70% off discount. So I did get an advent calendar because they had an old advent calendar, but you probably won't see it on here for a while because from everything I have heard, David's Tea is very slow in shipping, especially to the US. So I am not expecting to get this box actually until mid-January. Uh, so I more got the advent calendar as a way to try a bunch of teas. And yeah, so I'm, I will do that. And, and then I'm probably off David Tea for a while. David's Tea seems very expensive to me. Um, maybe it's not. I, I think they have lots of really good sales. And when you can catch a sale, you get a really good deal. But I'm hoping I don't fall in love with too many things that are very expensive because um, I can't afford to get a lot of their teas on a regular basis. I have to wait for sales. So... That's kind of where we stand with this. But it's interesting because, you know, reading over the ingredients, I'm like, oh, I don't really like rooibos for this. I love oolong. And uh, when I ordered from David's Tea, I was like, oh, wouldn't it be fun to, like, watch some of the tea tube reviews for some of the things that I ordered so I can kind of, like, anticipate the box and won't that be fun? And it's just so funny to me because some of the tea tubers I watch, like especially the salted caramel matcha. Um, no, I got salted caramel oolong. And that's the one where some people are like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I can't believe it. This is like the most delicious thing ever in the world. And then other people are like, this is disgusting. I cannot even drink this. I'm going to pour it down the sink. <laughs> And so I just say that as a reminder for you guys that like when I say that a tea is not great and I haven't had very many Adagio teas so far that weren't at least drinkable. I mean, when I say 
they're not the best. Um, it's very rare that I wouldn't drink it. I wouldn't, if I have it in my house, I wouldn't drink it, that it would be difficult or that I would give it away. The only thing I've ever like given away, I did give, um, the Lapsang Souchant away that I had because I had a friend who loved it. I would have drank it. It would have taken me a long time because I would have put a little bit in with other things because I like a little bit of Lapsang, but very small amounts. So, uh, when I had somebody say, oh, I love smoky teas. I, I was happy to pass that one on, but there's very few that I really would want to give away because I just wouldn't drink them. For the most part, they're just like, I wouldn't buy them. And again, with finances the way they are, especially right now around Christmas, I'm only going to buy stuff that I absolutely love and like can't live without. So, uh, but that does not mean the others are not good teas. So this is probably one I could steep forever because it's got a little bit of oolong, but I tend to steep my oolongs a long time. I know people say they get really bitter. I don't, I don't seem to mind. Um, and it's mostly rooibos. So it's very, it's a very light pine. I didn't sniff the bag. Let's sniff the bag. Actually I did. I just didn't talk to you about it. Chocolate, mint, that's about it, um, which is which is plenty. I still really smell the mint and a little bit of chocolate. Very minty. So I will preface this with mint is not my favorite. Uh, as you saw from the candy cane, my husband loves it. So my husband would probably love this because it's very minty. But I'm, I'm not loving it. It's okay. It, again, it's not that I'm not loving it. I would not buy this because it's mint. And I am not a huge mint lover. And so I don't know how anything that tastes very minty would be something I would be like in love with. Um, for people who love mint, this is great. It's got that little bit of chocolate underneath it's just it's it's a very nice kind of minty tea you feel the mint in the back of your throat um but it's mellow it's it's not too much mint it's just mint and so that's i really only want a mint tea if my stomach's bothering me so i think it also has like some kind of connotations of not feeling good which is not ideal for a tea <laughs> but my husband loves it all the time so I may even give the rest of this to him mm. so he's gonna love the adagio community for uh, December because I think there's a lot of mints in here so all right bye